Now, another thing I notice about Josh Hom is that he kind of looks like Elvis Presley to me. He looks like a red-headed Elvis Presley. He's got the uh, strong cheekbones that, uh, and, and the long face. He's got the small mouth with um, sort of a lip curl going on. And, um, and he, he lets his lip you know, pull out a little bit. He's got the short nose, the broad, broad uh, top of the bridge of the nose, and um, then his heavy brow with, you know, the prominent eyebrows and the really heavy eyelids that kind of droop. So he really feels like he's got Elvis Presley thing going on. The only thing Elvis had is he had a little more of a, a little more of those dimples in his smile, and um, he had a little bit of a longer chin. But um, I think Josh Hom, is, he resembles him in many ways. Um, now, when I draw him, I want to try to pick up on a few things that I notice about him when I've seen him playing live. He, he's, his hair is interesting. It kind of, he sometimes has it going down, sometimes up. But either way, I enjoy this photo because it feels like him where it kind of sticks up. He always has some kind of neat silhouette to his hair. And it always kind of flows forward off the back of his head. And he kind of has a long head from front to back. But I really can't get it from this angle. So what I can get is I can shortcut the uh, the top back of his head in this drawing, kind of chop it and flatten it a little, and be subtle about it so it feels like it flows forward. I, and I'm enjoying that. He always has a little bit of a mullet too, so I'm gonna have that hair sticking out. And I've noticed in a lot of his uh, videos that he has, his music videos and his live videos, he wears uh, cowboy shirts. A lot of times they have that triangle or that swoop on the shoulders and I'm gonna put that in at the end but um he's he's a redhead he's got a red theme to his guitars a lot of the time he has uh, very red eyes and my favorite of their albums of his albums I would say is called songs for the deaf and that one is has a red theme to it and it has a great video too there's this one song um, uh, go with the flow and the video is amazing. It's part CG, part video, rotoscoping, turned into like a flat animation, which is black, red, and white. Um, I just, I just love that they, when bands try to choose themes like that. And this color feels, I mean, this uh, reference feels very hot in its color. It's very warm. It's very orangey and red and bright and saturated. So I wanted to take advantage of that and just make that the overall palette. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just play another song to fill a little time. This one's from the new album also called Air Vulgaris, and this one's called Threes and Sevens. This is a live performance, and um, I found it on YouTube. I really enjoy it, so uh, I hope you like this one as well.
So you could see that that song was a little more um, riff-based. There was some great guitar going on and stuff like that. Um, now, when I when I decide to do a character or something like this, a lot of the times it's it's it has nothing to do with me trying to make them look really silly or ridiculous. And exaggeration is something that I really treasure and I try to use a lot and implement a lot in my piece. This one, though it's exaggerated, I think it's pretty clear at this point that I'm I really respect this person and. It's not because I didn't do anything grotesque. It's just because I found a great reference that did what I wanted the piece to do. If I wanted to exaggerate him to where he looked grotesque, or he not grotesque, but he he the exaggeration choices were more extreme and silly, I could get away with that, but the piece would have a different feel to it. And for this piece, I decided that I want to start taking it to... Um, more of a portrait level and I wanted to represent something a little bit different not just an exaggerated caricature because it, there's a certain extent to where that's a novelty and um, after a while there's times when you want to say okay I'm gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna enjoy some other aspect of the art um, I was recently interviewed for uh, exaggerated features it's a magazine for the uh, National Caricaturist Networks or sorry, National Caricaturist Network. They receive that magazine, all the members, um, four times a year. And they were interviewing past Golden Nosey winners. The Golden Nosey is an award that they give out for uh, Caricature Artist of the Year at the convention. There's a convention with competition and awards and a banquet every year. And it's a wonderful time. You have a blast. If you like it at all, go to caricature.org and check it out. Um, this year it's going to be in Reno. It's coming up real soon. Matter of fact, when I post this, it might already have uh, come up. But um, it's such a such a great a great experience. And if you haven't checked it out, if you like caricatures or cartoons or portraits or anything like that at all, you got to check it out. But I was being interviewed for this magazine for past uh, Golden Nosy winners, and they asked me um, how has my art changed since the last time I won this award. And this was about four years ago. I definitely feel that there's a sophistication that I'm trying to learn with my art and there's a level of um, appreciation for simpler things or for different aspects of the art than just exaggeration. Back then I would just try to, and this is only five years ago, four years ago, I would try to exaggerate everything as far as I possibly can. And if you see my book, it's called Rejects, The Extreme Art of Retail Caricature. You can see samples at rejectsthebook.com. If you take a look at that or if you have a copy or get a copy, you'll see that um, I try to exaggerate as much as I possibly can. That's not always the, my approach nowadays. I see that there are lots of things that can that I can learn from in different ways in art, and a lot of things that I can practice that I feel are just as important as exaggeration. There's simplification, there's um, rendering, there's getting color down. There's a lot of different understandings that I really am trying to employ with my art. And I feel that that you grow as an artist when you try to be a little more diverse than just find one thing and stick to it. I know that sometimes art directors like just when an artist can represent themselves with one thing. 